Uh, my name is Donald Colvin, and I'm the Department of Public Works slash Indie Parks and Deputy Director of Indie Parks. Deputy Director of Indie Parks, but you're also working with Public Works. Well, I've now just been recently consolidated. The uh, planning division has been recently consolidated within the Department of Public Works, but our sole client is Indie Parks. So we still manage and oversee their assets as far as their built facilities and short-term, long-term planning for the Parks Department. What is, and how long, this has been coming on for a long time, this transition for from greenways and parks into public works, has it not been? Yes, this has been an ongoing conversation, and it's, the consolidations is to try to improve on efficiencies and to uh, take, take advantage of both uh, departments, levels of expertise. Public Works is very good at building trails, and they have the engineering, and they're, they're good of understanding the, the in-dot processes and Pox brings kind of the soft people side to these projects of, you know, creating spaces for our community to live in and enjoy. So from administrative, it's an interesting marriage between two tech, two sides, the technical and the human. It, it is, it is, and it's working out quite well, actually. We're, we're both learning from each other, and we both bring different skill sets to the table, but it's turning out to be very beneficial. And as you can see today with the opening of the South White River Trail. This was a, a dual effort, if you would, that we shared resources and expertise. And I think we created a very successful segment of the Greenway Trail system. Now, you, are you also overseeing the Fall Creek Fort Trail and the Fall Creek Monon Connection Trail? Yes, we were part, again, that's a collaborative effort between Public Works and Parks. And we were part of those design teams that discussed what we were trying to create out there and worked through some of the construction engineering details and uh, made recommendations along the way. So yes, those were one of those collaborative projects. Now, how many years did you work for the city? Have you? Done I will be completing my 22nd year in January. 22nd. Congratulations. Yes, it's been an enjoyable ride, a journey. And what departments and what levels have you worked I've always in? worked in the Department of uh, Parks and Recreation. Parks and Recreation. And I came and what, from what a, levels. Well, started out as a senior park planner, went to a principal park planner, then to an administrator, and then the last several years as a deputy director of parks. And you report to as deputy um, director. You, right now I report to Director John Williams in Parks and okay. Director Lori Miser in the Department of Public Works. So you report to two? Yes. Interesting. That has and I report to the community as well. <laughs> Sure. Ultimately, they're my boss. <laughs> but that has to be an interesting situation. So just a lot of memoing back and forth between... No, it's not It's not bad at all. I create like a weekly report and the, uh, both directors and Andy Lutz is also my immediate supervisor in Department of Public Works. And they all see the same weekly report. So it's it's one dispersion of a, a report and they all get to see it and comment. So it, it, that class hasn't been problematic at all. It's actually worked out. Um, been very smooth transition in that area. That's good to know. Good yes. to know the efficiency of our working out. Yeah, yeah. Now, what do you see, what's on your plate for the next year, for 14? What well, trails or what projects? Well, obviously, there's a major initiative on the Pensy Trail on the east side, uh, finishing up the land acquisition and then uh, starting construction on the piece from uh, where we ended the present trail around uh, Shortridge, uh, down to uh, Ellenberger Park and down on Ritter. So going through Irvington. I mean from Arlington. Yeah, Arlington. Arlington. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Arlington, it, it's already, it already is built from Short Ridge to Arlington. And then the new trail segment would go from Arlington to Ellenberger Park and then tie into the Pleasant Run Greenway Trail. So that's what's happening on the east side in addition to the Pogues Run Trail, extension of the Pogues Run Trail. But there's a major effort on the west side is the uh, at least the engineering phases of the Big Eagle Creek, uh, basically beginning where it ends at about 46th Street and coming all the way down to Raymond Street, which would connect eventually into uh, this trail right here, South White River Trail. And when will that be done? What's the schedule on well, that? Well, uh, other than the engineering occurring right now, and it is four, it's broken up into four phases, and the engineering is occurring simultaneously in all four phases. So depending on who gets to first first, 
will be depend which segment of that trail gets goes under to construction. But whatever is built first, it'll be immediately added on to from one end or the other. Yes, that's a, that's our preferred our preferred uh, schedule would be to grow the trail from where we already have one. Whether we're coming down from the north or coming up from the south, instead of creating a trail just uh, isolated segment in the middle. But again, depending on when the, where the engineers finish up and what the bidding schedules are, that'll really determine the outcome. And we, you know, we have an aggressive schedule. We'd like to hopefully put some pavement on within the next two years. That would be a perfect world bearing some unforeseen that we don't know about today. Has there ever been a project where four parts are going on at once? No, that's the first in my uh, 22 years of being here have we so comprehensively had so many Greenway projects going at one time. So very, very exciting. And period. the Pemsey and, and the Pogues Run. Right. Where's the Pogues Run going? Well, that's still, I don't have all the details on that, but it, it'll basically go through Brookside and Spa we'll start at the Pogues Run Art and Nature Park. Yes. And then come down through Brookside and Spades and then it'll it'll make its way to 10th Street in the cultural trail, the Monon. It, it will connect with the Monon. Yes, that's the goal. Super. Oh, that's wonderful. The the Pimpsey from Short Ridge over to German Church yes. in Cumberland. What's happening with that? That's the, that land is currently um, in the land acquisition phases. So we're, we're using federal highway dollars to acquire those lands. And so we're in the appraisal and offering period of, of buying those uh, the railroad corridor. Now, is there. Paul Smith in charge of that? Well... We're all a part of the team. Paul Smith is part of the team. He's the real estate manager for the city, and he is an integral piece of all this process. So, he, yes, he's at the table on a weekly meetings as we're uh, moving forward on acquiring those lands. But we have consultants doing that work for us. Oh, wow. That's exciting that that is, that that is happening. Um, how much is all this going to cost? The Pensy, the Pogue, and the Eagle Creek. I don't have that number. <laughs> I don't have that number. Let, let's say it's a very reasonable uh, and smart investment. Let me well, leave it at that. There's no no question here. It's, it's a, a big bang for its buck it, invested. It's it's certainly a smart investment because right. it'll tie together many parts of the community right. with other parts that all are that are all worthwhile and deserving. So. And I, and, I'm, and we're really looking at the Pensy to be an economic stimulus for the east side. Right? You know, it's just a about a block south of Washington Street that parallels the old US 40, the National Road, and we're hoping it acts like the Monon has, it, that it really ends up being an economic stimulus for the East Siders. Well, congratulations in, in a rigorous schedule getting this yeah. done and the two other Fall Creek stretches, but all of what you're going to do soon. That's well, wonderful to hear. Well, and, we appreciate the community support. That's what makes it get it done. Congratulations in keeping two directors <laughs> informed and online with what's happening. So yes. thank you very much. Thank you. Take care, Don. Bye now.